he went on a date with a girl three days after he spent Christmas with me. After he spent Christmas with my family, bought my family Christmas presents, I spent Christmas with him, and he dropped me off at home. The following day, he went on a first date with somebody. All those days that he said, I'm so sorry, I'm so busy, I'm working, I have my kids. He was dating another woman while he was with me. There were a couple of groups. This was all the information I found out from one group. These girls need to learn how to share. They won't go for the average guy or the guy that is on their level. They'll go for the high value dude, then complain when other girls want him. Plus, it looks like she's the main piece. He gave her and her family Christmas presents. Do you think any of the side pieces got Christmas presents? Does she know she's lucky? She shouldn't push her luck. So that was him with the camera on his lap. So he didn't have his finger on like the shutter, the trigger or whatever. And so he was just sitting it there. And I just, again, I really didn't think anything of it. I didn't think he was taking any photos or videos of me. I just thought he was just chilling there. And so after the guy kind of calls him out on it, I take my AirPods out and I was just like, what the fuck, dude? Like, please don't take photos or videos of me. You do not have my consent. And then he doesn't say anything to me. He just looks over at the guy and he goes, thanks, dude. That's none of your business. Be fucking for real. You're in public transportation here. It's all of our business now. So he can't take pictures of you, but you can take pictures of him. Got it. I like how important she thinks she is. She's the superstar of the public train. Everyone wants to take a picture of her. Low key, I'd start putting the flash on and going crazy taking pictures. You don't have an expectation of privacy in public. Anyway, so this guy at my apartment complex, like I always thought he was so cute. And obviously he saw that I was sick. Like I would walk around with my port out and my IV bags and all this stuff. Like it was, it was no like secret that I was sick. So this person is like, okay, I don't care about your disease. I don't care that you have a port in your chest. Like I see you for you. Like I'm, I want to pursue you anyways. So of course me being super vulnerable, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. And it was like, it, it was really great times with each other. So of course I'm like smitten. I'm like, wow, like I'm, I'm fighting my disease and somebody wants to like, you know, be with me like while I'm going through this horrible fucking stage in my life. Like, heck yeah, sign me up girl. Mind you, like, I have scars all over my body. So for me to be even intimate with someone is so hard and it is such a big deal. Basically, like, there is a lot of attachment there. And, like, this person, like, very well knew this. And so because this person, like, looked past, like, all these things that I was going through and, like, my disease and all of this stuff, I kind of, like, put them on a pedestal and I trusted them, like, with everything, every bone in my body. So, like, to find out that, like, dude was, like, literally had another thing like for who knows how long like how that crushed me inside like the pain and insecurity like th that that evoked in me like i'm like shit's already fucked up over here like oh, what do you mean you had someone else this whole time like <gasps> it was very hurtful poor girl fighting some disease and fighting the fuck boys at the same time basically that's how modern dating is a few guys screw the majority of the girls, diseased or not. Then they go on social media to complain after the guys are done with them. The circle of life continues. And then I felt confident. I felt emboldened. And not very long after that, I look over. I'm in the customer service line at Canadian Tire. Of course I am. And I look over and there is a beautiful man. He is beautiful. He's around my age. And because I'm in this mood, I think... I'm, I'm going to go tell him that he's beautiful. I walk up to him. I don't even know where I get this courage. I walk up to him and I say, hi, you should know that you are very beautiful and a pleasure to look at. <laughs> I say, you are a pleasure to look at. And he looks traumatized. Trauma I have traumatized this man. He's a deer in headlights. He says nothing. He does nothing. He's just frozen. And then pretty much immediately his woman walks up and stands beside him looks at him looks at me with like a what the fuck is going on expression on her face and jealous women are the most terrifying people on earth so i leave so fast i don't say anything clever like maybe i could have said something clever i don't have clever things to say i just run out of canadian tire and i come to sit in my car 
And you know what? You know who I blame? I blame my ex-boyfriend because if he would just love me and choose me the way I want him to love me and choose me and we could just be together, then, then I wouldn't be having to do these ridiculous bullshit things. I am angry and embarrassed. I was wondering, when will the men blaming come in? It must be a guy's fault for her predicament. It's kind of sad to see older people trying to date in these times. It's vicious out there. It's use or be used. Basically, this is elder abuse. Y'all want to know what I hate? How every time a girl gets played, the first thing dudes say is you shouldn't have messed with the fuck dude. But how was I supposed to know? All I see is a fine dude giving me tension, doing everything right until one day just... Pfft, 